We are at the southern tip of Africa. We're here to announce our next adventure. We don't know when. But we do know where. We do know how. Yes, we just have to wait for Omicron to let us out. We're heading to South America, from the southern tip of Africa to the southern tip of South America. Join us on our next adventure. It's coming as soon as we can get out of Africa. Vamos! It's taken us more than a year and a half to nearly leave on our next adventure. And our aim is currently at the split of the Indian and the Atlantic Ocean. If all goes well, within the next two years, we will be at the point of South America where we can see the other side of the Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. So, thumbs up, stay with us, we know we can do it, and we'll show you that adventure when we get there. How's it, how's it, and hello. So, that intro was recorded uh, just before Christmas, end of 2021. And as always with Omicron, our plans keep changing. So, we are now on plan Z, and so starts another episode of our adventure. Thank you to our Patreons. It's your support that makes these videos possible. Go to patreon.com forward slash fearless on four wheels and subscribe now. Also, remember to hit that like button, subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified of all our future adventures. But luckily, we've had lots of fun in the interim. Um, after Christmas in the year with our families, We've stayed in Cape Town and we went on a great flight with my friend Andre. Thank you very much Andre for that great experience. Let me show you what it's like to fly a trike high, high above the sky. We had to get up very early to drive an hour and a half north of Cape Town to a small airport outside the industrial harbour of Atlantis. There we met up with our friend Andre with his ultra light trike which is a two-passenger hand glider with an engine at the back. We dressed up very warmly in warm weather gear and we did our safety checks. Getting into the rear seat was easier than expected. Then we took off. The takeoff was very easy and the flying experience was exhilarating. The view from the top was spectacular. Andre took us across the towns all around Atlantis. We visited the mouth of the Berg River as it entered the sea and then he took us all along the coastline. It wasn't as noisy as I expected and the views and the vistas was fantastic. You didn't realize the height until you looked at the horizon. But the flight took us to more than 5,000 meters. And the controls looked quite easy as Andre flew with a light touch. But much too soon, the hour and a half in the air was over and we had to land. Thanks again, Andre, for a great morning in the air. After that adventure, we, we, we left Cape Town for a few weeks where we currently are staying in a place called Donna Bay. We've got a nice view of the sea over there and at last we've had time to experience a little bit of adventure in our own backyard. Karin went on a great hike. Let me show you what that was all about. Hello, today is Saturday and I'm going to do the Sit Blaze Trail. Uh, it's a 30.5 kilometer trail and I'm going to start in Bossel Bay, walk along the shore um, and then we're going to end in Dana Bay. So well, let's see how it goes. Um, I checked it on the internet, they say, said it's a beautiful walk. Um, all along the shore you might see dolphins, uh, vegetation is nice, there's an old 
so it's a nice day. I did the hike with Jos and Esther, who stay in the area and wanted to do the hike for some time now. We started in Mossel Bay and had the sun behind us all the way, which made the hike a lot easier. The St. Blaise Trail hikes the coastline all the way with high cliffs dropping down to the sea. At the start we had to climb a bit, but once you're at top, um, it's quite level and an easy walk. The sound and smell of the ocean is your companion all along the trail. I would recommend that you start early in the morning as it took us five hours to complete. We think we are about four kilometers in the hike. And it's really nice. So there's a few dolphins over Hey. Zoom in. Also remember to bring enough water. The road is well marked up to the Point Golf Club house, which is approximately 10 kilometers into the trail. A lot of people finish at the clubhouse to have a cold one and it's also easy to collect the tide hikers from there. We were quite tired at the end with sore feet, but happy hearts. We've also, also had time to explore some back roads uh, and we drove the seven passes. Let me show you what that was like. The seven passes scenic route are seven passes that are all linked and it's the original road between George and Neisner on the garden route. It's a mixture of tar and gravel roads meandering through farmlands and natural indigenous forest. It was great to take a food to our trusty Toyota Hilux out for a last gravel drive before he goes into hibernation in a storage facility in Cape Town. And so ends our short adventure of the maybe seven passes. We only did I think five or six because the road was washed out. And now it's off to Nysna to see some friends. And at last, now our next adventure can start. So currently our plan is still to head to South America. Um, but with Omicron, it's a little bit more complicated like that. So next week, Wednesday, we will fly off to Brazil. Uh, going through Doha and then off to Sao Paulo. We'll then have a two week holiday in Brazil because currently South Africans are not allowed to enter um, Chile if we've been in South Southern Africa for the last two weeks. So we're going to spend two weeks in Brazil exploring Brazil for a bit and then we are heading off to Chile. Currently we have the ominous decision to decide whether we're going to buy a vehicle online. Never done that before, never bought a vehicle, but there's a vehicle we would really like, a replacement or a semi-replacement for our trusty Ufudu. Um, the car is being checked out currently in Santiago. If the report comes back as positive, we will then buy our vehicle online. And when we get to Chile, the vehicle will be waiting for us. We still have to make that decision and we'll keep you updated in the next few weeks as that goes. But that's a story for another time. So please remember to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you won't miss out on future adventures. Thank you for our Patreons for making these videos possible.